Hello Waltham, I'm Dr. Roz Rubin, CEO of Greater Waltham Arc, celebrating our 60th year this year. And with me today are Barbara Dunker and Camille Haas. And we're here to talk about the Adult Family Care Program, AFC. So Barbara, what is AFC? So AFC stands for Adult Family Care, also known as Adult Foster Care. It's a Mass Health funded program and it's for individuals who either have a, a medical diagnosis or a mental health diagnosis um, and they're unable to live alone independently. Mm -hmm. And so uh, for people who are caring for that person, what is the, uh, what is the program, what's the advantage? What do they get? Well, so um, if this member needs um, care in the home, uh, the caregiver who can be a family member or a non-family member is eligible to receive $9,000 to $18,000 yes. tax-free annually um, for the care that they provide. Okay, so as we like to say about AFC, you're getting paid for something you're already doing and you're doing with great love. And so Camille, what is the difference between a family receiving 9000 or receiving the 18000 Sure. So a family that's receiving $9,000, um, the level of care that they provide is less than mm -hmm. a, a family that provides um, more care and they are then eligible for more um, closer to the 18000 Okay. So that's based on an assessment by the AFC staff um, who will hear from both the a uh, person living in the home and the family, how much care is needed, and then the AFC team uh, will be able to determine if it's that level one, 9,000 or 18,000. One of the things that I'm really happy about when we uh, started this program in 2014 and going forward is that, as Barbara mentioned, it's not only tax-free, but family does not have to provide vouchers demonstrating that that money has been used directly for that family member they're caring for, and that's really wonderful. Um, as I mentioned, we started in 2014. We're very, very proud to serve the community, and um, not just Greater Waltham. We'll talk about the other towns we could be in, um, but we're very proud to serve and support those persons. And of course, uh, the reason for this uh, government program is that um, it is less expensive and, and really healthier for a family member to remain in their home uh, being cared for. Now you mentioned persons with intellectual developmental disabilities and physical challenges and there are some other uh, possible criteria as well. So, Well, well that's right. Um, um, first of all, the most important thing, first of all, is the um, individual has to be eligible for Mass Health Standard mm -hmm. or Mass Health Common Health. Mm -hmm. um, and if they are, um, then then the caregiver can be a family member or a non-family member, mm -hmm. must be 18 years of older to be the, to be the caregiver. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, um, th and that is one of those um, technicalities that uh, if you go forward and contact the AFC team, uh, you'll be able to determine quickly if uh, there's eligibility or how to become eligible. And this is a program for persons with intellectual and developmental disabilities, elderly, physical challenges, right. mental health issues, anyone living at home that has some sort of challenges. Yeah, so the individual would, would need at minimum um, daily at least cueing and supervision mm -hmm. or um, physical help with at least one activity of daily living, such as toileting, bathing, dressing, yeah. Um, yeah. those kinds of things. And yet that person could be attending a day program. Yes, they can. They and the don't caregiver, need to be, yeah. And the caregiver can have a job while that person's in in their day program. Right, so they don't need to be at home tending to that family member all the time. That That's person correct. could be going to some sort of day program as well. So um, if uh, someone in the audience thinks they may uh, qualify, and they do qualify after speaking with the team, what happens next? What are, what are the, the home visits and what are the uh, things that, that that family must do, Camille, for, um, for, for being a care, caregiver? Right, absolutely. So uh, monthly home visits are provided either by the care manager mm -hmm. or a registered nurse. Mm -hmm. We come in and we provide ongoing support, advocacy, and any trainings that are relevant to the member and the caregiver. Mm -hmm. um, the caregiver will need to complete a caregiver log um, on a daily basis, mm -hmm. just proving that they are providing the care that right. they are providing. Right. Um, and. And that's it. So it's Halloween time, so don't think that the AFC team will be haunting your home if you uh, qualify and go forward in the program. In fact, these are home visits that are 
um, maybe 45 minutes or an hour? It depends so. on yeah. the need. Yeah. Um, some families require more time than others. Sure. But sure, absolutely. But it's not daily and it's not no. all day every day. Correct. So, that is correct. Uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a visit. It's not a, an intrusion on your life. Again, it's what you've been doing all along anyway. So, um, And uh, let's talk a little about geography. Uh, our name is Greater Waltham Arc. We do serve people with intellectual developmental disabilities in other communities. Don't be confused by that. We have many uh, caregivers uh, that are in the AFC program in other towns. That's right. And while we're not necessarily looking for it to be on Cape Cod or Springfield, uh, there's no question that the uh, many of our caregivers. So, what are some of the towns we're so currently in? So we go to Marlboro. In? We're in Burlington, mm -hmm. Belrica. Um, you know, certainly the um, Belmont, Arlington okay. area. Right. So we know that uh, this uh, program is going to be seen not just on the Waltham WCAC, but also on several other cable stations. So even though it's coming to you from Waltham, uh, be aware that you can uh, investigate your uh, um, qualifications and, and uh, your eligibility for this wonderful, wonderful program. Uh, a real help, a real financial help, and as Camille mentioned, other support. So more education and um, more uh, opportunity to learn maybe a, a better way to uh, do something, even though this is not hands-on nursing. Uh, these are people of the team who are experienced in uh, working with persons with challenges of all kinds. So uh, there, there is some an educational piece as well. Um, and what a wonderful program. So the question now becomes, uh, how do people reach you if they want to hear more? And it might not be, I'm caring for my elderly mother. It might be, gee, my girlfriend is caring for her brother who has disabilities. Um, it could be anything. So spread the word. That's why we're on TV today. Sure. Uh, so how would we reach the AFC team? So eligibility begins with a phone call. Give us a call um, and we can pretty much determine over the phone if there's if, if, you, if your family fits into the program. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I know there's going to be a graphic or there is a graphic now um, just reviewing uh, the Mass Health recipient, unable to live independently, and there's Barbara's name. Barbara is an RN, and uh, she's program director. And there's the name and phone number. So we hope that you will take advantage of this wonderful program, and um, perhaps become eligible and get to meet the AFC team, uh, and and really uh, get that kind of support. We're so pleased to be able to offer this program. Um, we're going to wrap up, but I want to mention that when it started in 2014 and I was describing it to people, people said, oh, this can't be legitimate. This can't be for real. And, um, and Barbara has even counted that as well. This is real. This is legal. Uh, the money is there. Can't promise 10 years from now or whatever. But it's a real program. Please give Barbara a call. Find out whether or not you're uh, eligible and go forward. Uh, thank you very much to WCAC TV for allowing us on to talk about this program, and uh, thank you all for your attention today.